Hi, I'm uh, Furyful Fawful. Hi, I'm Gresno. Uh, Domingo, you asked why Transistor, why am I running this game? Uh, so, I picked Transistor up as uh, just a casual game. I, I was going on vacation, I had, uh, n you know, some spare time, and I wanted to, to pick up a casual game, so I found Transistor, I pick, picked it up, played through it, loved it, decided to go through again, but a little bit faster this time. Uh, and uh, I did that again and again, and I found out there's like actual speed strats. People actually run this game. Uh, shout out to the Transistor community, as small as it is. Uh, and uh, it just kind of went from there. Yeah. Um, and and now we're here. Yeah, we're here. We're here. Um, so yeah. Um, and. Let's begin. Uh, is is the stream is the stream ready? We good? Because uh, if if so, uh, so we can go ahead and get started. <laughs> They're not ready. Ah, we'll, no. we'll we'll get there. Eh, we'll get there. It's fine. <laughs> All right. Uh, sure. Uh, so three, two, one. Oh, nope, oh. nope. Oh. We can. We just gotta switch to we transition you real quick. All right. Cool. Uh, so uh, transition. We're definitely not going to get away with this. I think. Yeah. I. I mean, maybe we will. Maybe we will get away with this. Uh, all, right. all right, so Let's now go. we're now we're ready. Uh, time starts in three, two, one, go. go. All right, so this is Transistor. Uh, it's an action RPG slash turn-based RPG by Supergiant Games, uh, and it's pretty cool. Um, we're going to start off here by killing. This thing, uh, that's called a process. That wall, uh, we're supposed to break it down, but we can just go through it before it spawns. Mm. Uh, so, nice little tiny time save. Uh, so, when I said this is a turn based game, this is what I'm referring to. This is plan or uh, turn. It's Tactical a, a planning stage for you to uh, figure out what you're doing. And uh, Ready. we don't like to use it. Because figuring out what you're doing implies that you have time to figure out what you're doing. Uh, we just need to go. <laughs> but uh, we can use it to do some cool things later on. It's a little bit broken, a little bit broken in a good way. Um, Look at all that. But yeah. Um, I guess we just keep going on from here. We we just we just keep going. Um, so. Coming up after this fight, we're going to be picking up our third basic ability. We have two currently. This Breach, which is a long-range, slow sniping tool. Uh, and we have Crash, which is a stun and a uh, bit of vulnerability on stun targets. Um, and right now, we're picking up Spark. Spark is great. Spark is... Uh, it's fast, it does a decent chunk of damage. It does a lot of cool stuff. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll be abusing it to its full potential uh, very, very soon. But um, yeah, uh, coming out of this poster, uh, we're going to be fighting our first young lady. Young ladies are terrible. They are RNG incarnate. Uh, where they teleport is RNG, that is Great RNG. Oh, wow. Awesome. Uh, that I am mangling horribly. But you can see that the speed of of Spark and its range really come into handy. Um, this is the only puzzle in the game. I don't know why this is here. This is just to make sure you haven't forgotten about what turn does, I guess. It's a feature. It's a feature. Um... So now, now we have actually the most broken ability in the game. This is our main movement tech. It is Jaunt. 
that is not John. This is John's. Um, oh, no. And it's uh, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Uh, you'll be seeing some interesting uses of it, and uh, I can uh, I can give you a preview of exactly how it's going to be used in this run uh, in just a bit. Uh, so we're about to level up and unlock a new ability. Uh, and this ability we're going to be using as an upgrade to our crash so it bounces around. All right, so you want to see a preview of what Jaunt can do? Uh, Get ready for this, folks. It's not actually that useful, but uh, we can jaunt outside of bounds in that fight uh, to get just uh, a little bit of space where we are uh, free to just wail on the enemies and uh, they can't do much to wail on us. Uh, unfortunately, it is a bit slow uh, to do that. <laughs> Uh, you can't do quite as much damage as you can if you're just right up close and personal. But that's fine. Um, so, this game has a, a lot of fun little cutscenes. Uh, they're unskippable. We can't do anything to speed them up. Uh, if you have donations, this is a great time. Now's the time for donations. Thought we were gonna skip town. We have a ten dollar donation from Media Mag Mom. Thank you very much. I will drag you down, wipe you out. Alright. Um, we can play around with the bike a little bit, I guess, to fill out the rest of this time. Yeah. Uh you can accelerate it. You can not accelerate and watch it decelerate. <laughs> uh, I mean when you gotta go fast. Don't let me go. You gotta go fast. I I I should have been holding the button down the whole time, shouldn't I? <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't actually Shut speed up, up anything. <laughs> um, so we're going to be going into this next section here. Um, and uh, it's a couple of pretty normal fights. Nothing too fancy happens here. Uh, but uh, we start to use the fact that we can bounce our, uh, our projectiles around. Stronger than the last ones. And, uh... They were waiting. And start just progressing towards our next level up. Because you, you gotta you gotta keep breaking in the money, Wait, right? wanna check the channel back there? Um... Dream's getting fixed. Tell me about the enemy name that you told me about. Ah, uh, yes. So, um... We are currently dealing with creeps. Uh... Man. Literally, creeps. Uh, yes, that is their name. Um, we've also hung out with some jerks, some weeds, uh, and because we have to round out the sets, uh, what pairs better with a jerk than a cheerleader? That's that thing over there. Sometimes creeps need love too. I, I mean. Yeah, it, you you gotta you gotta cheer everybody on, even yep. if you don't necessarily agree with them. Pretty much. <sighs> um, but the yeah. cheerleaders actually cheer us on in part uh, because this ability that we we just got called Load uh, gives us the ability to spawn packets, and uh, cheerleaders like to shield those packets and make sure that. Uh, uh, excuse me. Menuing is not the easiest thing. Uh, so, guys, speaking of... They like of to shield the packets and make sure that we can't do what we want to do with them. But in a way, they're cheering us on. They're cheering on the packet and its ability to deal damage. The packets are very, very, very fun. Yeah, um, so... This is an enemy. Hey, guys. This is no so longer an enemy. Real quick, just speaking of cheer, we just broke a thousand dollars. So Woo, I wanted to say thank yeah. you to everybody. Wow. Good job. Um, so this is uh, the another young worst lady. Young lady in the game. Uh, she has multiple cheerleaders trying to shield her. 
and uh, she has all of these weeds, and weeds heal up enemies. Oh wow! Uh, so if if we get really close to the young lady and uh, and get her down, she can just uh, go to one of the uh, one of the weeds to heal. That's not fun. Uh, but. Sm a small, really minor sequence break. Uh, we're supposed to go up and around and then go into this corridor, uh, but we just jaunted through a wall uh, that the devs didn't really think to block off. They're just like, sure, you can go through this. I mean, it's fine. Why not? Why not? Um, yes, I rem I will remember to click. Uh, this <laughs> yeah, cutscene. Do yeah, I this cutscene doesn't start unless you actually press a mouse button. I'm glad you remembered. I I definitely. Remember. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to let this music play out. I really like this music. Oh no! Yeah, no, the music here is great. Yeah. Oh, why don't you tell us a little bit about the story? Uh, <laughs> just because that involves explaining the story. I <laughs> but um, yeah. So uh, we have the sword called the transistor. Wow, the name of the game. Wow, what a They did the thing, everyone. We we did we did the thing. Roll credits. Uh and uh there's this four-piece Illuminati known as the Camerata. Um and they wanted to kill me. I'm I'm a singer. I'm named Red. Uh they didn't kill me. They instead got rid of my voice. Um and they killed my husband, who is now trapped inside the sword as kind of this guiding wow. voice. What jerks. Right? Uh, well, not those jerks. <laughs> those, are, those are different guys. Yeah. So wait, where are we now? Are we like, back in uh, time? So this is a kind of just a, uh, a flashback leading up to the very beginning of this game. Which is weird for a flashback, because it was literally just 10 minutes ago. Uh, but, you know. You gotta go fast. Uh, you gotta go fast. I mean, um, speaking of the Camerata, uh, here's one of them. Say hi to, wait for it, Sybil. Um, Sybil is, uh, is the reason that the Camerata went after us in the first place. And uh, we don't like her very much, so we're going to completely demolish all three of her phases immediately. Uh, thanks to the power of packets. And packets are very, 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 very good. Uh, we don't have enough packets yet, so we're going to use a turn to uh, get an extra packet in. Those cheerleaders would have uh, very strongly messed us up had, uh, had we not done that. Uh, we don't actually have to collect those cells, it's just for fun. Hello again, Sid. Your camera but... Uh, now we get to level up. Do you understand? And uh, we unlock help, which uh, is an ability that we don't actually use for a very long time. But it does come in handy. Alright. So what's next? Uh, what's next is uh, another cutscene. So more donations if, uh, if we have them. All right, so currently we have no new donations come in. The last one was from Media Mag Mom, though, so much thanks to her, much love for all the support that she showed her son. That is one of the most heartwarming things I saw here. Uh, we have time for more, if you have them. We have time for more. I bet I know who does. Well, I guess... Uh, it, Coming out of this, uh, I'm going to be spamming the spacebar a bit, uh, shaky and camera, guys. shaky camera, but uh, we're going to be doing that to gain control of red as soon as possible, uh, and then we're going to be using it to get our first out of bounds, well, I guess our second, because I did the demonstration out of bounds, but our first useful out of bounds. Um, so this is port 37. And, uh, 
And this is no longer this? this is no longer port 37. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a feature, guys. It, it's a feature. Working as in, I, I, no, I don't think we can Cross say that. There's house. nothing working as intended. <laughs> Uh, so, we're going to, uh, head deeper in, Much nicer, and, uh, we're going to spawn a fight here, where we're going to go outside of the boundaries of the fight. So, the fight triggers, but, uh, we don't actually have to do it. Uh, we can just walk right past. Uh, we do have to do a fight in this area, though. Uh, otherwise, the exit door just won't spawn. Uh, so we're going to uh, do this. This is a little bit messy here, but a lot messy. But we'll get there. Uh, yeah, we got it. Hold on, I want to try something. So, hey, is anyone out there? Yes, yes, I am here. Uh, and you're here too. I'm here. Uh, is the camera never plays nicely in that section. It, I don't know why, but it just it just doesn't like to do that. Uh, this fight is not skippable in any way whatsoever. Uh, oh so we kind of have to do it. Um, and by kind of, I mean... We'll, we'll spawn some pockets, or some packets and, uh, and clean up shop. Um, this next fight that we're going to skip is actually slightly more difficult than some of the others I've been doing, so I'm going to do a small safety save here, uh, just to make sure that, uh, that we can get it. But it's fine, we got the skip first try. Oh, sweet! Yeah, every time, first try. Except for the times that, you know, I fail, but, you know. Semantics. Yeah. Semantics. Um, so, coming up, we have an auto-scroller, but this one's actually an active auto-scroller, unlike the cutscenes. Uh, we get to do stuff. Oh, wow. Uh, but let's see. I, like, like this. I can throw my sword. You didn't. Uh, oh, yeah, I, I didn't, didn't show that. Yeah, off. no, you didn't. This I I didn't show that off in our uh, in I our mean, practice like, run. Oh wait, no, isn't this. that that move is just flashy for the sake it, of being I mean, flashy? It, yes, but we can afford to be flashy for the sake of being flashy here. Oh wow. How's your MagWest going? My MagWest is going perfectly peachy. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I I get to uh, I get to help charity. Oh, well, well, that, well that's I, always a good. I thing. mean, yeah, that there's never anything wrong with that. That's true. Welcome to High Rise. Um, so coming up is another safety save. Um, one that I stand a much higher yeah. chance of needing to reload. Uh, but let's see if we can get this first try. Oh. Well, Heal. first try every time, right? Oh, that, that's that's what we say. Stay. Uh, a little bonk there. Uh, if you don't aim your jaunts properly, uh, they tend to get stuck on walls. So. Uh, so wait, when you were explaining jaunts to me beforehand. You just pretty much go through walls, but you're basically just going to where you're clicking at, right? Uh, it, up to a point. Like, it, I can only jaunt so far, right? Like, I can't go all the way mouse to the edge of the screen and, and jaunt that distance, right? Yeah. It's just the jaunt in that direction. And if that direction happens to be a valid spot, then, uh, then you go there. Uh, and it doesn't matter what the physical in-world distance should be. It just matters, like, if it's pixel-wise on the screen, the right distance, and uh, and if it's a valid spot for you to be uh, standing. Um, and uh, as we're going to see in this next area, if, uh, if you go out of bounds, everywhere is a valid spot to stand. 
Uh, so this is High Rise Out of Bounds. I affectionately refer to it as Spine Skip, even though we don't actually skip the spine. Uh, that's the spine. Hi. Um, we're going to be intentionally taking damage from it in order to uh, help set up this next little trick. Uh, nope. That's mildly bad, but uh, it's it's fine. We can we can deal with this. All right. So uh, I have a monitor up while in turn, uh, and yeah, it, th this is this is a. I mean, it, it's not expected that you should be able to. Uh, <laughs> to activate a monitor while in a fight where you're actually taking damage and stuff. So uh, when you hit zero health, instead of immediately dying, or in the case of this game, uh, losing an ability, uh, well, I'll get to that later. Um, but hopefully we don't have to see it happen, right? Um, the mash. Uh, if it was plugged in, which it is not, so, oh, no. <laughs> whoops, I was going to just casually do that, but, uh, I guess, I guess that's it just not going to happen, marathon well, luck. marathon luck, it's fine, it's fine, um, so I'm just navigating off screen here, uh, and that's, yep, so this is the spine, Yep, uh, the spine is going to help us with uh, destroying our packets because uh, we're also invincible in this state. Did I mention that? No, I didn't. I didn't actually get a chance to explain this whole trick, did I? <laughs> um, so, if we had a monitor up. Uh, we got into turn. We used that to regain control of red. We went into a door. Uh, we used the, the monitor screen to gain the ability to use turn. We used turn while in the door and uh, exited turn after we left the door. Yeah. And uh, and that adds up to that. Yeah. We broke its heart. We broke its heart. <sighs> How sad. I think okay. it, I was going to say I think it'll survive, but I, th I think it won't survive and that's actually a good thing for us. Um, because it, because it means we can progress through the rest of the game. Whatever you did back there. Uh, and also that we get the experience for killing it. Oh, no way. No way um, so this We're strat here. that's coming up uh, was discovered during Summer Games Done Quick. Shout outs to them. Uh, and shout outs to <laughs> uh, for coming up with this strat. It's actually faster to reload once. If I get the strat, there we go. That was super messy, but a uh, small out of bounds there can uh, can get us where we need to go. Have a nice day. Bracken Towers Concourse. Never had the pleasure. Also, sorry, because <laughs> because I'm terribly. Garbly. Yeah. Uh, so, fight skip there. I had a safety save. Turns out we didn't need it. Uh, anyway, you're gonna say something. So, go for it. Uh. Technical difficulties. Uh, it is uh, <laughs> the hardest part of every game, so, or, uh, of every marathon event, really. Um, please. There we go. All right. Here we go again. Where to? 
So um, while they try to figure out Mike issues, uh, I'm going to uh, Why are they even here? activate some around. super speed. Hello. Oh, there hey. we go. So okay. there you go. Okay, because I probably have said some stuff, but either I was really quiet or you guys didn't hear me. Knew it. Sorry about that. Whoops. Ready for um, I, I feel like I feel bad for try, like now I've been playing off of you and nobody has been <laughs> knowing you're just I'm just like I'm just talking just, to just nothing. <laughs> I'm, I'm giving good moral support by being silent. Mo moral support is it's uh, definitely the kind of support that I need. Yeah, so that's why I'm here. Hey, um, so safety save is just because I can. Uh, and because this fight, while pretty easy to skip, is pretty terrible to actually do. <laughs> Wait, why is that? Uh, because those are going to be upgraded creeps. The enemy is level two. Uh, we're on the top level. Yeah. Oldest archives. Um, shout out to New Game Plus. It because the enemies keep their levels. Wait, do you what do they do with those snapshots? Okay, that. Oh, let's see. Oh, it's kind of scary. But. Yeah. Um. Anyway, we spawned exactly half of that fight that we just did. Um, there's supposed to be two That's extra true. snapshots and a cheerleader. Yeah. Uh, but we don't have to do that. We don't gotta do any of that. Take a straight uh, to Actually, we did have to do some of it, but. Oh, yeah. Semantics. Like Rand has other visitors. Oh, well, those guys look like they're having We're not fun. Waiting. They're having a, a door party. I'm going to actually oh, I mean, just get an extra one over here. Yeah. Oh, and, I mean, they have a jerk in the way, but you know. Yeah. Well, you know, sometimes, okay. sometimes the jerk is the last person to leave the party. That is true. Yeah, he just he just want to go to sleep and and he's still there and he's just like, yo, can we do some more stuff? And you're like, no, nah, no, nah, dude, I, I gotta get my rest. Um, and in our case, uh, we gotta rest up because we got the hardest boss fight in the game. Oh wait, no, you're standing off. Hardest, hard, hardest fight in the game. Really? All right, yeah. I I, I mean, but I'm feeling pretty confident. Shouldn't you save or something? I I mean. No, no, I'm, I'm, fe I'm feeling good about it. No, actually, you know what? No. No. This, this is better. You, you got this. Go, go. Go, do the thing. So what do I do? Uh, you just uh, you just do that, and and there you go. What? Yeah, good job, dude. You I'm got like, it. What? What? Nice. I, I did it. I'm, I'm a speedrunner, guys. It's so this, is, uh, <laughs> this is actually a collab run? Oh, yeah. Wow. Um, but I'll take care of the cleanup, you know? Uh, yeah, yeah. It, I mean, he, he did all the hard work. Yeah, he yeah. did all the hard work. Well, uh, thank, you for, <laughs> thank you for being such a good support. Uh, so, yes, it, this is two other members of the Camerata. Uh, they couldn't be here to, to speak up, with us uh, because... Can we get a nap? Uh, my, my, my friend dealt with them before I arrived. I mean, yeah, you just you just saw it, right? I, I gave yeah. I gave him I, I gave the mouse to my friend and he took care of it. Yeah, no, I, I killed him good. <laughs> yeah. Um. So now we we know more things about uh, the sword that we have, and we can use it to tame the process, which is uh, the conglomerate term for all of the enemies that we've been fighting so far. Uh, we do have a donation. Uh, before we get to the donation, there will be time for it. Can we get a not like this in chats? Because yeah, I don't want things to change. For good. But not like this. Not like this. Not like this. Not All right, we can do the donation right. now. Yeah. Grant the others. Yep, we got a couple left. Oh. Oh boy. He's got to know something. All right. So anonymous donates ten dollars. Furry full, this is a cool run. Thank you. Oh, look at this time. Nice. It's time is up. Uh, we have time for more. Yeah. Sort of. That right. was it. That oh. was just the guy who Aww. wanted to say that this was a cool run. He admires you greatly. Thank you. Thank you, Anonymous. It is a cool run.
I, I'm definitely biased, but I'm going to say it anyway. Hey, I think it's pretty cool. <laughs> um, so we get to Fairview. Uh, we we want this. to not aggro that guy over there. Um, until now. And uh, we may have messed up, but it's fine. Only a little bit of time lost. Yeah, you you win some, you lose some. Last member of the Camerata will be waiting. Uh, so hey, Red. Yeah, we can uh, yeah. we can head on down this Never way. Um, yeah. I had an audience for that fight. Audience. I had multiple audiences for that fight, actually. I I mean, one of them you just saw. Oh wow. And uh, one of which you're part of, not you, yeah. but yeah, yeah. Uh, safety save here, because, uh, this fight skip is pretty precise. We're gonna see if we can get it. Nope. Uh, I'll, it, it's, it, it's another one of those things where if we navigate outside of its boundaries, uh, then the boundaries don't spawn in the first place. This is uh, we'll give it one more shot, and if yeah. that doesn't work, then uh, we'll just uh, do the fight. All right. This is an town. And third time's a charm. Hey, we got it. Hey, we got it. All right. So we would have had to fight all those people, uh, and we just, I guess still sort of do. Excuse me. <laughs> just run, keep running. <laughs> run faster. Uh, but. That's the uh, that's the kind of fun RNG that Transistor has. Uh, yeah, the enemies like to uh, to just have some fun yeah. with deciding what they're going to do at the exact moment that they're doing it. Uh, uh, and it makes them slightly unpredictable. Um, so this was used to be one of my least favorite fights, and then uh, we figured out. Wait. You can go around it and uh, just not do it. So, uh, yeah, we do that now. And by we, I mean I, because I just didn't know strats. Um, so, that was a man. Wait, you, you killed a man? I, I, mama, I killed a man. Wow, you, you put a sword to his head. Yep. And you swung it, and now he's dead. His life has just begun, too. Yeah, wow. Uh, another time for donations. There, yeah. There's a, not, there's not that many of these left. Yeah. But uh, what I said if you have any... I guess we're good. We're good? All right. Um, Press the space bar for more shaky cam action. I want you to know. Yeah. And, uh, and more bike action. We, we abandoned this bike, but it has stuck through it all. Real hero. And, uh, well, bike uh, deserves some kind of reward, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. I get the feeling that they agree. Wouldn't you say? I believe so, yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Bike deserves some kind of reward. <laughs> I got it right. Like wow. Bike friends. Well, it's almost like I know this game. Watch your step. Um. So this this is an upgraded jerk. He not only has the tractor beam that you just saw him use, but he has one thousand. I, I I said I mean he had one thousand health. Well, now he's dead. Well, uh, it's. It, Packets are powerful. I don't think I don't think the devs realized exactly what they were doing when they gave us this power. I mean, they just wanted to give you a good weapon. I mean, in this case, it just kills everything. I mean, yes, but also, that's a really good weapon. Well, I mean, it's like giving Obi Wan the high ground. Why not? Well, yeah. Why wouldn't you want the high ground? Look out! But they want a tag team. Uh, 
that's a that one dead man. mild mistake. Uh, it's not a dead man. It should have been. No, you don't. It was supposed to be. There we go. Uh, this is fine. This is fine. Was fine. Now it's slightly less fine, but it's still fine. Yep, there we go. We're good. We're good. You feel that? A little bit messy. But it happens. Um, so there's no way to skip this. But um Yeah, he it, so this is Royce Brackett, and uh, because this game is all about its tech puns. Of course the game has to end with a bracket, right? That's, yeah. it has to be. Yeah. Um, but Royce likes to monologue for very, very, very long amounts of time. Um, so this is the only, well, this is one of the only two that we will have to experience. But if, uh, if we mess up uh, in the next sections, there's a small chance that we might be able to hear more of his rambling. Um, he also gets to, to ramble a bit while we move back and forth uh, throughout Fairview, which is uh, the next area and the last in the game. Uh, we did it kind of there and back again, and, uh, and now that we've returned to the Shire, uh, it's time to... to do something. Take care of the people responsible for this. Okay, so we're going to beat them up. Uh, sort of. I mean, it, we'd like to work together, at least for now. Because okay, so we'll, we'll just get their trust and then beat them up later. I'm not even sure he trusts us, really. Okay, so beat them up before he beats us up. Something like that. Elsewhere. <laughs> um... So we're going to do a little bit of a loadout swap here, and uh, and so this gives us the ability gets, which uh, we just unlocked, and uh, it basically retrieves opponents from very far away and deposits them right in front of us. Oh, I got nothing. So you just pull him to when everything changes. Like scorpion grab. Yeah. Everything hook. To Fairview. But all this. I mean, I, I'm I'm more of a Roadhog guy myself, but. Hey, too easy though. Uh. That's mildly bad, but it's fine. Ideally, we'd kill the other one first, uh, because. Because he's the person that's making them invulnerable. Uh, it, they each have different colors, and the different colors correspond to different abilities that they give all men. Uh, so this is a safety save, so that we can uh, attempt a neat trick. That's not it at all. That's also not it. Um, it is still faster to, to fail this trick and then succeed. That was closer. Um, so what I'm doing here is uh, when I save, my current position gets saved. So if I save and then move, uh, I trigger the fight here, and uh, I can respawn With no by... Fight with no fight because I've already passed the fight or the fight's trigger at least oh. are um, we reaching the oh wait so how far are we in the game right now uh, this is actually pretty far um, we're we're getting real close to the end this is it for me. Uh, I know there's a uh, there's a bit more on that estimate but um, but no we can we can finish this up in uh, probably the next 10 minutes or so oh boy yeah I'm gonna eat those words so hard. <laughs> hey man, don't jinx yourself. You'll be fine. Uh, so we want to grab all of these people uh, and. Uh, Blow them up. Yep. 
And that one's going to just suicide bomb. The forest can hold them off, so can you. Because that is that is their purpose. Uh, because some men just want to blow up. That I mean, because haircuts. Haircuts do that? Apparently, that's what they're called. They're called haircuts. I don't know why a haircut would go out of its way to just launch itself at you and then uh, and deal massive damage, but... Um, I mean, maybe if it blows up, it blows up all your hair. I, I, Red's got beautiful hair, so it, 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 that must be that must be why. Uh, there was a, a fight skip there, but it's so so casual. I just like didn't didn't even really talk about it. Uh, the next one is not so casual. I had I have to safety save for this um, because this is a fight against all four flavors of men, and I really don't want to trigger it. Uh, but seems like we are good to go. Um, so I want to uh come on. We'll see if that works. That did not work. Uh so we're trying to do the same save disjoint tech that uh we just did to skip that earlier fight. Yep. Uh but this time we're going to use it to skip a uh very long monologue from Royce, uh, where he slowly talks to you as he brings down these gates uh, and disables your abilities so you can't jaunt. But when you reload the save, you get your abilities back, so you can jaunt. And, uh, and that means that we can... Pretty much do this. Yeah, we can just do this. And, uh, and we can make it all the way to the final boss. This is it. Uh, we have time for donations right now, All right. so uh, yeah, go for it. Okay, uh, we have a anonymous donation, fifteen dollars. Uh, they said, "Furyful, what is the hat on your head? Big fans, carry on, carry on." <laughs> yeah, what uh, is the hat on your head? This is this is a, a Legend of Zelda hat because uh, I don't know because Legend of Zelda is also pretty cool. That I don't is. speed run it though, um, but I fear. Wear some swag to celebrate the previous run. Uh, Dwango did uh, a second, pretty cool rando race. Stay with me. Second anonymous donation, twenty-five dollars. They said, "You can get donuts when you get home. Keep being awesome." Wow. Donuts. Uh, well, I I know that was anonymous, but also that's well, really anonymous. I I know who that <laughs> was exactly. Thanks, mom. Oh wow. That's, oh, well, that's very nice. It really is. It's just well. It really is. Um, but um, we're we're going to uh, we're going to head into this final boss, uh, and uh, Royce, who is our final boss, also has a transistor, so he can also take turns. We don't like that. We want to take all the turns. We're greedy like that. Uh, the less turns, he, fewer turns he takes. I can grammar. The fewer turns that he takes, the less time we spend. He doesn't deserve a turn. He doesn't. Uh, we're we're that kid at the playground. <laughs> oh no! Im I just got infinite turns. He doesn't. <laughs> yep. Uh, he gets one turn. Um, and we'll be uh, nice. yeah, That's we'll we'll be nice. We'll be we'll we'll let him take the first turn. How about me? Yeah. Sure, Royce, go for it. Um, bless RNG that he doesn't take too long to make the decision about what he's doing. That uh, could be better. Could be better, but it could be a lot worse as well. So, uh, also, that positioning Whoa. is amazing. Um, so, he has, I want to say, four phases. Didn't care for that. And all of... Oh, he took a turn. Whoops. Uh -oh. That's not good. <laughs> well, I mean, but he just whacked you. I I I, I mashed twice. the I, I mashed the button. Uh, but I didn't mash it well enough. Clearly. So uh, we get to uh, we get to do this, but it's fine. We can still do our strats as long as we get our next turn. Uh, this setup 
just instantly demolishes him, and uh, we have a passive ability now because we switched out Jaunt. It's no longer one of our actives, it's one of our passives, and that makes us uh, refresh our turns a little bit faster. Yeah, and, uh, and that means that we get to take all the turns, except for the two that we let him take. Um, so... He's dead. He's dead. We killed him. Good job. Yeah. That's good. Uh, we're not done yet, though. Not time. Not time. Uh, we get to do a little victory lap. Yeah. Because now we have control of the transistor, and the transistor is this amazingly powerful tool that can rewrite the laws of the universe. And we're going to reuse it, or... Well, we used it to build this bridge. We're going to reuse it to rebuild this bridge. Oh. Uh, and we're going to do that by humming. Because, uh, of course, uh, what do you do when you've lost your voice? You hum. She's uh, a musician sense. like many of us here at MAGFest. So, that is true. Uh, if you don't have access to an instrument, you don't have access to your voice, you just hum. It's, it's honestly one of the best instruments you can ever have. It really is. Uh... So, so hard. What's so? I guess now. Oh, that is a nice melody. It really is. It's a nice melody, and we're going to reuse it to build all of our favorite places. We got this pizza joint, Junks and Jans. I'm super excited oh, to to oh, see dude, that. We get pizza? Yeah, we we gotta get pizza. Uh, who needs donuts? We got pizza, dude. Oh, dude yeah. I, I still want donuts. <laughs> uh, but. Uh, All the drinking joints in the canals. Well, that, that, that's not the pizza place. What do you think? Uh, this is this is definitely not the pizza wait, place. Wait. Red, what are you doing? Uh, uh, red, 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 no. Th th this is it, so. This is our our husband. This is Red's husband. Um, that's not me. But it's not really. Not so why why is Red why is Red doing this? I, I don't know. I, wait, maybe she's trying to get him a slice. Red. Or wait, I, no. Uh, uh, I, 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 I don't I don't think that's I don't doing? think that's what she's doing. Wait, wait, that's oh, not how you oh, get no, pizza, oh no. Um, wait, also wait, time. Wait, Whoops, sorry. <laughs> Red. So yeah, the time time was when I I started this cutscene. So sorry about that. Uh, well, mi miscommunication. That's all good. For you do this. Uh. Please don't. Wait. Well, she's gonna do it. She's going to. Red. Oh no. Oh, oh, red. And that's transistor. And that's transistor. What happens next? Play the game. Do new game plus. Find out for yourself. All right. Oh. There's a there's a lot of depth to this game that we didn't really get the chance to explore. All right. Well, thank you for having me as your co-host. Of course. Thank you for agreeing to be my co-host. This was kind of last minute put together. Yeah. Like. Hey. Like a lot of things, but... <laughs> hey, you know, I'm just glad to be here. But thank... Uh, yeah. Thing. And, uh, and thank you to MAGFest for agreeing to, to host this event and, yeah. and all that. So I guess we're done here. Yeah.